The fact that the Chinese are able to host the Olympic Games is going to be interpreted in Beijing as acceptance of their authoritarian autocratic system and the absence of any constraints uh, on the power of government. The Chinese system is clearly one that oppresses the Chinese population, despite their claims of being a democracy. When the rest of the world goes to China to participate in the Olympics, it is, in the Chinese view, an endorsement. It is not politically neutral. I would like to see the Biden administration stop approaching China and begging for conversations and discussions. Just about every summit we have seen in the Biden administration was requested by the Biden administration. China interprets us going almost on hands and knees, asking for summits as a sign of our weakness and their strength. Whether or not the Biden administration believes that, they are sending that message and they need to stop doing that if we are going to credibly deter China and persuade them that they are being confronted by an alliance of like-minded democracies that oppose what they are doing. I think China poses a major threat to American interests in three broad areas. First is the obvious uh, military arena, as China's military modernization has produced the world's largest navy, uh, one of the world's largest air forces, and an array of weapons clearly designed specifically to target American capabilities. Second is in the cyber domain, where Chinese cyber activities, both against our economy and against our national infrastructure, basically poses a very comprehensive challenge to every part of that economy and national security establishment. And finally, in the realm of outer space, we see the Chinese engaging in a full-blown space competition that I'm not sure the American public has yet uh, woken up to. Um, what keeps me up at night, above all else, is probably the cyber aspect. And not so much the cyber military aspect, although that's obviously worrisome, but the fact that China's cyber attacks on our economy are leading to, one, losses in the millions, if not billions of dollars in terms of intellectual property. The faster product cycle that China is able to enjoy because it doesn't have to work as hard on R&D if it's able to basically scoop up all of that um, from outsiders. And by the way, that's not just the United States, it's Israel, it's uh, Japan, it's Germany, it's Britain. Um, but the other aspect to all of this is also that uh, China's cyber economic espionage reflects their whole of society approach to a lot of problems. We have trouble getting all of our bu government bureaucracies on the same page. The Chinese are able, because of the uh, dominance of the Chinese Communist Party and the absence of civil society in their system, for the leadership to say, I want academics to support this. I want industry to work uh, in support of this effort. Uh, I'm going to use military and intelligence. And they're able to weave that together in a very comprehensive, unified way that really has no parallel in a free and democratic society that includes civil society in addition to government.